Good morning everyone. If you'll notice, today is Red Shirt Friday. Today's a day that if you love your country, your countrymen, the men and women that go to war, they risk their lives. What do we have to do? Just wear red. That's all we have to do is wear red. Hey folks, what's wrong with this picture? Nancy's gonna be pissed at you. Mommy don't let me close out though. Well, you gotta talk to mommy. mommy she does and she washes them. Actually, I think she folds them too. Well, you know, let's get Cheryl on the phone. She's dealing with prisoners right now. Prisoners? Yep. Alright. It's Friday, folks. The last day before the cruise, Boston won an unbelievable game six last night. The series is three to three, Philadelphia three. You have any Philadelphia fans out there? Are there? Well, now we're a little bit of conflict because we have a Mother's Day dinner on the boat at five o'clock, so we're wondering when they're gonna show the game because that's when game seven is. So we put these out here because while we're on the cruise, Corey's gonna wash these, clean all the trucks, and he's gonna cut us some shims. And this is some good shim metal. Why is it good shim metal, Bri? Well, it's nice and thick, it's a 1,000 gallon tank, and there's not a lot of rust on here, so when he drags the plasma over, It'll make good contact and it'll make nice cuts. So that's why. Oh, I know where Craig is today. Where are, where is he, Dad? We're excited to hear from you. Craig is picking up our new trailer. Not our new trailer. Our repaired trailer. From Automotive Ingenuity. Should it be ingenuity? I think that's a little more creative. Okay. How's everybody else's allergies doing? Mike's allergies are oh, horrible. Holy. Yeah. My eyes are swollen. <clears throat> You're a flawed man. Did you walk out of the garage? I did. I thought you were drunk. I thought you were drunk. Oh. Two seconds. See, my body is a physical specimen. I have nothing wrong with me. Nothing. So your shoulder, I, your knee. Yeah, well, other than that, those, you know. Your neck. I operate at peak, peak level. <laughs> Corey will pull that out. I'll go load up some stone. If this is a local job. It is in the village of Warwick. They love us so much there, the inspector doesn't even have to come out. He says, take pictures. And I'm being told that I did a site inspection. I have zero recollection of it, of my peak. Uh, looks like there's a leak. That thing still, I don't know. Everything is always in constant repair. This is probably not safe, huh? But we completed the task. to sit a little bit higher so I can look down in the bed to see what I'm filling and I like to make little avalanches <coughs> like this This is 
is not work. This is fun. She's back. Nice to get a show up. She's back. Remember, this tire was rubbing. Looks like we see some new stuff right there. Oh. Hey boys, start the planes, head back home, and never look back. That was ugly. Oh. Craig. Hey man. Red shirt Friday. Double red shirt. You need one? Oh. You need to borrow one? I got I got double on too. Folks, Corey just found his red hoodie in the back of his car. Nice job, Corey. Hey, buddy, dude. Craig is late this morning. Craig has strep throat. And he shows up Day for two, work. Antibiotic. I did give you a hug yesterday, so I'm being told it's contagious. It's not. The doctor said it's not overly contagious. Not, <laughs> not overly contagious. He says, no That's like the uh, the weatherman saying possible chance of shower. Yeah, well, he said no uh, swapping saliva or cups or drinks. Swapping saliva? Yeah. Your, your doctor said that? So, so I can't yeah, meaning like don't give your kids a kiss on the lips so or your wife. You oh, right. And then I thought, wow, bro, I took an aspirin with my water two days ago. <laughs> I did. Ah. <laughs> I'm dead inside, kids. Let's go. Wait, I'm sure we got everything. Bucking scooper scraper. We're three miles from the property. So we'll buy buckets. Scooper scraper. What? We'll buy buckets. Okay. What? Oh, job. Belly flop contest is your future. <laughs> I feel thin today, too. Actually, okay, we are here. I mean, is this... Is that so, Sam? I was going to say, Mike, have you left that damn truck running? I did. No, that's not you. Did? So this is... No, thank you. This is a... Um, I think it's a hundred-year-old home. It's it's in this little flower bed part under the the sidewalk. Yeah, that's got to come out, no doubt. So that sidewalk comes out, and here's the unusual thing that I remember. Where is the fill pipe? Oh, fill pipe somewhere over here. I don't, I don't know where it is, but. Look at the vent pipe. Right there sticking out the side of the house at a 45 degree. See, look at the vent pipe. We're gonna get up there to cut that. What? What? Right? <laughs> he actually laid it up against the wood and then put the uh, the rock work on the outside. So you sure, uh, you sure about that? I'm positive that's a vent pipe. Looking at us. So I think the fill pipe is right over here. If I can remember correctly, there it is. If you were a pro, I am a pro, Craig. Why don't you try and do it without ripping up the sidewalk? It, that can't be done. Oh, that can't be done. Not with the 40, pal. You know why? Because the first thing I'm going to do is cut the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because the job is, is difficult enough. So we're going to rip it right here and here. I'm going to try to remove it without damage them. Damaging them. Hello, hello, hello. And um, I'm going to try to have it not, because it undermines it's this a pretty one. tight area for a thousand. Bro, give it a run. No, dude. Give it a run. No. I know you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Give it a run. Craig. Trust me. The tank goes to here. I know. I'm not going to be able to put the product back underneath it. Stop leading the fans on. It can't be done. You want to do it? Sure. Okay. Craig, today is the excavator. 
operator. We have concrete, or we have. Uh, I've got 50-50. In one truck. Impressive. You're all right today. What so kind of drugs are you says on? It's a thousand. This is a thousand. That's what he says. Of course, it's a thousand. I thought it was five fifty. I don't know. Well, here, look. If the fill pipe is there yeah, and the vent yeah. pipe is over there, that doesn't mean anything. Oh boy. Am I going to look like a genius today? Well, now it's a thousand. It changes everything. Yeah, duh. Well, I don't know. You look at it. You tell me. Is it, you think it's a thousand? Look at the house. It's a hundred years old. You're a hundred years old. Oh, if that's actually the Corey, benefit. you are um, insubordinate today. <laughs> we would love for it to be a 550. What does it say on our phone? I thought it was Anything a that's written in the proposal, I wrote. I thought it was a 550. Why did you think that, Mike? I thought yesterday it was too. All right, you're just along for the ride, bro. Well, yesterday I said 550 on our phone. All right. So I, I didn't, I don't know, man. I screwed up. I wanted to plate this whole driveway here. Um, so I sent the boys back to go get Big Red because I want to dig into that. I don't want to lay any soil on this driveway. So we're going to go get the demo saw and we're going to make three cuts, four cuts. I just want to rip it here. It looks like it's going to separate from the asphalt good. So, but still, never assume. Just run it, run it through there one time. Cut, 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 and try to lift it out of one piece. I mean, they wanted me to try to put it back, but even if you put this stuff back, you know how hard that is to get it back? So after a month of rain, it's still, it's not going to trip. And, you know, this guy's an attorney. Who's the first guy that's going to sue you is an attorney. But I don't think like that. I think he'll sell my company because we're going to do a good job, but... So many things going through my head. Corey, nice work. You couldn't carry anything else, dude? Nope. You got um, eye protection, air protection? Yep. Not for me, though. Yeah, I do. Do you? you? You also. I have my eyes. All right. You're going to have tinnitus like me when you're 61. Good. See? That's Corey's thought process. There you go, Mr. Brian. Thank you, sir. Craigie, you know what we're doing? No. Nice clean rip right there. In the cut? Yeah, but try to ride it on the concrete. Don't make new cuts in the asphalt. And then a cut and a cut. It's just, it, this, this, is broke. Yeah, this is going to look like we broke it though, right there. And there's, it's the same thing over here. It's going to look like we broke this. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, sir. Yourself? Just show me where the fill pipe is. All right, got it. Just be my eyes down there for some wire. Throw, throw that brickwork in there, would you? It's just messing my, my, my scoop up. That uh, looks like there's pavers down there for some reason.
I guess it was a paver walkway. Is there a, a sill for that window? important to have guys standing over your work like that for Corey to remind me that I knew about it but I had forgotten about it so that vent pipe runs up along behind that rock wall if I would have snagged that I'll start ripping out the side of his house Now, Craig thinks I can do the whole 550 removal like this. Hey, uh, if it were a 550, maybe. 550? Maybe. All right, here goes. It's the whole thing moving, bro. Can you get the demo saw and re release cut it? It's obviously not cut. Right? No. Nope. Alright. It's moving though. Right. Now maybe I now I maybe I can get it. It's five inches thick. It's two pieces. It's two pieces. Over here. Wow. It's two layers. Come on over. It looks like it's a sidewalk on top of a sidewalk. That's why it's all coming up uneven. See, if you come back, if you step over here in the foliage, you can see it. See, that's, oh, yeah. that's the first sidewalk, and that's the second on top. Holy so let me just try to... So the chances are really good. It's, it's, it's going to be virtually impossible to save this. But... I'll take I'll take it out in layers. I'll just take the top layer. Just guide me in through the top. Yeah, the yeah there's all pavers down there too, so it could have been a paver walkway, and then they poured a sidewalk, and then another sidewalk. Corey. <sighs> So now I'm just gonna try to grab that. Yeah, that one right there, Corey. I just wanna grab that top layer. See, so when you do this, And that's asphalt. That first layer is asphalt. Really? Yeah. That's not asphalt. That's not asphalt. Let me get 
this first. I set it on top of it and drop it and it splits. You're always right, Craig. Just that one, definitely. I don't know if you lifted it and you wanted to see, or I'll just start cutting Well, let's just score it over here. Look at this. Wow. Well, you know, that'll give me a good uh, shelf to where it's supposed to sit, right? So that'll make leveling easy to put it back. But this has got to go. Someone's got to go. Give me a score right there, Craig. We haven't even reached the tank yet. Isn't this exciting? It is. Yeah. Does he remind you of, of Mr. Halberstam? Yes. That's my father-in-law. A very well-respected man. Still living? No. You know the author Halberstam? Yeah. That it's that's their cousin. That's that's my lovely bride. An Irish Catholic married a Jew. So now you know a little bit of my world. <laughs> and the first day I met them, I showed up on a motorcycle <laughs> to really try to win them over. I think you're okay there, Craig, right? No? Yeah, that's weird the way it sits right on that. I just don't think that one right there. Out of fuel. Shut the business down. No, there's fuel on it. Oh my God, Corey. If I listen to Craig. Hey, we got a shovel. Yeah. Corey, twice you saved me. Can we go with this thing again? Do we, do we have it? Oh my God. Is that on? <laughs> ah, Craig, Craig, Craig. Nice. That's our signature. We do it on all concrete. Yes. Yes. Hey, stand on that. bottom ones are not getting put back they're getting thrown back in the hole but
can't see it. There it is. Got it. I just needed to see the fill pipe. Got it now. I think we're gonna hit all kinds of other goodies down here. That's why I knew this job was gonna be interesting. Um, so that's just another reason why I bid it low. I also bid it low because he is the attorney for the town of Florida where all my equipment is. So after we did a great job, I knew that he would be a good mouthpiece for us. Did you feel the confidence right there? We've already faced a little bit of adversity, not a lot. Nothing we can't solve. Made a few mistakes here though. I, I should have had my plates all over here so I could walk all around and excavate much better. I also, I have a fairly good feeling that this tank's definitely gonna be a thick tank, but the chances are good it's gonna leak. And he has a very good carrier, so I wanna be the guy to help him out and get coverage. All right, so I'm gonna, we're finding out right now if it is actually a 550. And I do not wanna grab that vent pipe. It does just miss that last sidewalk, the end cap. So hopefully, it's a thick, heavy tank though. And I can't dig down alongside, so it's gonna be a bit of a bear to get out with this 40. No. <laughs> See, that's a real attorney. Had to point out where I was wrong. Corey's found, we found that thing. It's located in the copper now. Or how it comes out. I think you can find the end of the tank. We, this may be successful. <laughs> I'm just that darn pipe. Can you cut that pipe back for me more, Craig? Yeah. I'll, I'll take a chunk and pull it out a little bit, but I don't want to. I don't want to hit it at all. All right. All right. So I, I'm not sure this is going to come out. So I'm going to back. Put set the plate right here. I'm gonna back in and I'm gonna dig the way you know I like to. I'm gonna take a couple of scoops out of here. All right, Core, hit it.
will just guarantee that I'm going to succeed pulling this tank out. That's what this is going to do. And if there's any contamination, I should see it soon. So Craig just brought something to my attention that doesn't it doesn't make sense. He said the older the oil is, the less sludge there is. I just think if it sits for 20 years, 30 years not being used, it just that the sludge breaks, breaks up yeah. and becomes pumpable. All right, so we're going to find that out right now. Ready, bud? You're never too old to learn. Nope, we're not. So, so she's not priming, so Craig invented this. This was his idea, but this was my little bit that I threw in. We use that to prime it. It's not priming. This is cutting edge stuff right here, man. Is there another tank guy putting this stuff out? I would hold that side up. It's up yeah. on my leg. Yeah, it's not going. It's, it's not up going. On my leg. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Now you're. Gonna... Now you're gonna do that. Flying Brown, you ready? All right, let's see if it works. Now lift it high, Sam. Wait, it's good, that's good, it's good. It's sitting in sludge. Oh. It worked. Yeah. It's still a lot. There's a lot of sludge down there, bro. Or that may be the dirt. So you can see it's brown. And then Craig, Craig's theory may be right. So you can see, we have about. 200 feet of hose here maybe a little under so that's that device that Craig figured it out the reason for it is we put air on it and it blows all the oil right back into the tank instead of having to walk it in so he'll bring that over to the grass we'll hook it up Okay, hook, hook that on there. Took this off my Corvette. I did. Did you? Yeah. He puts that on. You guys ready? Yeah. So he'll put that on there. Yeah, but you gotta pull that trigger. Yeah, I will. Right now. Pull the trigger. Yep. And now it's blowing all the oil into the tank. And then they'll give us a signal when it's all empty. Should be done. Yeah, there's a little bit left though. All right. So that's clearing that line all out. So now we can comfortably disconnect and know we're not gonna spew oil everywhere. But the only downside is it doesn't give us any oil to prime the next time we wanna use the hose. Nice job, Craig. Mikey, Mikey, we have figured out it's a 78 year old tank. He stopped using it about 35 years ago. So you are the lucky one that gets to clean that. That's his safety harness that he wears. If people like uh, 3,000 people are going, dude, you, you, you must have told us this 100 times. But if we get a new subscriber, it eliminates questions. So we'll go put this over onto the machine 
and we've got the safety harness all set up. Mike's getting in his see-through Tyvek, and he'll go in. Been looking all over for that. You wouldn't believe some of the things we find in old tanks. Really? Things that get wives in trouble. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Let's take a ride with Sam. What happens to the sludge? To the 85 year old sludge? We shop in low. We're doing it with the row buckets now. There you go. He's staying over on the grass so we don't spill any. On his asphalt driveway. It's the little things, folks. He'll take that and then he'll dump that in that 55 gallon drum. And we'll have a vac truck service come and pump all that. And then they recycle it and they turn it into different types of gel products. Looks like Big Red needs a wash. That's because we live in that dust ball. Let's see Craig style. That's my point. Craig takes the shorter path. Oh, of course. From A to B. He's got that right arm out a little more for leverage. He goes right in. Look. He goes right in. And you can see, got me in the eye. <laughs> All right. Since the machine is over here, it's getting sunny and warm, so this asphalt starts to loosen up a little, and you do any kind of turning on it. Mikey's 
just making a clean workspace for us. Yeah, we can keep track. It's, if, you, if I were to track over that rock, I'd push that rock right through the asphalt. Just gonna concrete paste that now. Make it make it look like a 85 year old rock. This is how you're gonna be judged. Forget about everything we did here. It's how that. They're looking for this. They got issues. It's how that turned. Well, that's what you can visually see when we're done. This vent pipe. Yeah, that that rock. You already did a little smearage job there. Come on, bro. Here's where you use your finger. I hate this stuff. We sent the wrong man in. Bro, use your finger. I will, once I get it up. Oh, God. Don't call my wife. There you go. There I'm, you go. I'm used to using this finger. A little, a little faux painting there. Nice. Now that was good right there. Yeah, man. That was good. Watch me fall and break my neck. Cruise canceled. I'll go. Oh, no, we would go. You would too, wouldn't you? <laughs> no. No, see, that's a great job right there, bro. You just flare that bottom half out nice right try. there. Yeah. Flare it out. Now remember, too much is no good. I know. I gotta cover the metal though. That's I'd stop right there. That's perfect. Perfect. Nice. We'll dump that in. You see, I put the plastic uh, over that edge, metal on this edge. So if a rock comes out, cut it. Yup. Go ahead. Go off where? Oh. No, you can't. I don't want that. Go forward then. We'll 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 caddy corner into that. All right, right there. So I'll put my rear tire right on that. Doesn't matter. Now cut, cut it, cut it, go ahead, cut, go ahead, go ahead, keep cutting, keep cutting, go ahead, go, 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 stop, alright, dump it, dump it. That compacted pretty nice. I'm gonna push that out of the way. I'm gonna try to get more item over here. 
under the where that asphalt, excuse me, where there's concrete. They're gonna put concrete back. Watch that rock, so that rock would have on the edge right there. So I'm just gonna make two little shelves here. I wanna put all the soil in the back and compact it. And everything that's gonna be under this concrete, I want it to be that crushed concrete. So I'm just gonna push the soil up in the back here. And then I'll cap that see that I left that about four or five inches high that's because I'm going to still compact it and it's going to spread into the topsoil area but I'm going to put the topsoil in now so everything is tight and it, and it stays nice and tight
All right, core, sign off. Audio. Well, yeah, Audio. And that's another fine job. By Tank Masters. In my mind. All right. That was weird. Well, that was, like that. Right, anything to say before the cruise, just in case we don't make it back? Yeah, wait to see how big I am when I come back. Free food. Mikey, all right, so that's it, folks. Turned out pretty good. Jeremy, say goodbye. Goodbye. There you go. What do you think? A minus. What do you think? I give it an A plus. Actually, they're wonderful people, but when I done, she said, ah. I thought you were going to take the concrete out. Did she really? Yeah. You said. I got it on video, him saying he wanted the whole thing concreted. So, but here I, I thought they were going to say, that's an amazing job. So good, except for that chunk of concrete you left, Bri. All right, folks. We'll see you <laughs> in two weeks. Two weeks, but we got a bunch of video guy. for you. Look at what it takes for Bri to make a video. This is what it takes. And I left my extension pole up at that job. You got a merch? Yeah. I buried him.